Kia ora. I'm Paul Blair. I'm the founder of Vision Week, which is a digital web summit that we're going to be running in the week of the 8th to the 12th of June. It's almost upon us. Go and have a look at www.visionweek.co.nz. What this all is all about is that COVID has given us a chance to have a great reset. There's a $20 billion fund out there looking for how we reinvigorate our economy for this new world that we face. And I'd love all Kiwis to be a part of it. I'd love you to also share your personal story and vision for what New Zealand could become. For me, my personal vision starts with my family. So when my wife and I are in our 70s, 25th, in the year 2050, what I want is for our three sons to look back and say that this is the time that we reset the country on a better path, a more ambitious path. And how we did that was the referendum of 2021, which put in the, the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act. And in that, what we decided to be was ambitious. We set our targets high. We decided to adopt all of the UN Sustainable Development Goals and to achieve in the top quartile of those by 2050. And this was the mission for successive governments, uh, one that we all had a, had a part to play in. We started to pick some winners. We actually backed our export industries and five global champions started to appear in Agritech. We also, because of the improvement in our way of life and our leadership through COVID, we started to attract Asia Pacific headquarters to New Zealand. And they started to use our green energy to export weightless services like films and other architectural services and other things to the world. And this gave our kids some high tech and high paying jobs to look forward to. The other thing that we did was we finally realized that our environment has been degrading. And so we found a way with mana whenua to balance the needs of our environment, which has been suffering, uh, with the needs of our people and the needs of our people to grow. So we set environmental minimums, environmental bottom lines. We presumed that development would improve our environment and we invested to get our environment improving and also to deal with climate change. So when we go through all of these things, the, the, the final thing and the thing that I'm most proud of is that we adopted the principle of manaakitanga and we decided that our diversity and inclusion was our strength. And why that's personally important to me is that my, by then, 47-year-old autistic son is one of the 1.1 million Kiwis that live with a disability of some sort, is able to live a happy and full life in his community, supported by those around you. One of the key things for us through COVID was that Kiwis were kind and we understood the value of society we now have the chance to reset and set our goals to be more ambitious and to go and get a nation building plan for New Zealand that sees us succeed, not just now, but for future generations. So my personal plea to you is to get involved, www.visionweek.co.nz, and also send me your personal video that talks briefly about what you see as the vision for the future New Zealand. Thanks very much.